Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for coming along. Uh, we do woodworking and sawmill videos in, in, uh, on this channel and different projects I'm doing. Today, I have my son in the red and my son-in-law who's running the controls. My son has actually used it. My son-in-law has never used the mill. So today, we're teaching these guys how to use it, how, what I do, and how we go about doing it. So this is a family affair today. It's Mother's Day weekend. Uh, so this might not be out for a couple of weeks. My wife's up north is her mom. Uh, and my son-in-law, his wife, who's my daughter, is up north with my wife as well. And my son's wife is, I think, hanging out with her mom for this Mother's Day weekend. So Garrett's going to square this up now and get that ready to go. You know, my little method there. What they're making, we have this ash on here, and what we're making is uh, six inch, half inch boards. So he'll have to go down five eighths and take into account the kerf. So he needs to patch some siding on his, my mother, my son-in-law has to patch some siding on his mother-in-law's house. Not his mother-in-law, his mother's house. Gee, his mother-in-law's house would be my house. You did good! So we were doing the 13, 15, 13. How do you know when you flip it when you're cutting it every time? So you're not, you did the 15 first. Yeah. Flipped it and did 13. I knew that camp was going to be about a 13 inch camp. Oh, yeah. Remember if I looked yeah, at that yeah. sheet, so I knew that. So. so in this one, I'll do 15 and 13 again? Uh, you're going to go, and yeah. you're going to go right to oh, that yeah. waning. I usually take a tape measure, and I'll measure from here up to here yeah, yeah, yeah. so I would go to like 14 and a half okay. Four, go to 14, 14 okay. yeah go to 14 so cutting the half inch board will uh, will be a little different because we don't have softness, so you'll have to go down 5 8 every time. Because the blade takes a half inch or an eighth inch out. It is first. And first running into it, what are the signs that it's not good? You just don't want to slam into it. That's why I work into it slow. I just go into it slow. Once I'm into it, then I speed her up. Now, see how that blade guides way out? So, I'll go move that for you, yeah. What? No, you don't have to stop it. But that keeps the blade from twisting. The closer it is, the straighter it will be. I'm gonna give you a little more fluid too. He could probably go a little faster. He could go a little faster, but that's all right. Slow's better. That's all right. He's good. You got him at four? Yep. Okay. So what I would have done, Garrett, I always bring that back before I flip it. So because you don't know where the bark's at. Gotcha. But it, I always bring that back before I flip it. But that's all right. Just make sure you're above the bark. Pull him back a little bit. Shut the throttle down. 
Just so we're not blowing out gas. I just moved it, my strength. Now you can flip it. So why was the four, why was you saying the 14 was too much? Because like we got a lot of waning on this oh. side. All right, so now we're gonna take these, these off. Actually, we're gonna just lower them all the way down. I'm gonna turn this one around because of that waning. Huh. All right, we're gonna call that good. We're not even gonna adjust anything. We're gonna call that 13. So you gotta go down to 12 and 3 eighths. Not now, you gotta back it off. How big are we doing? Half inch cord, right? Half inch. You can get a lot then. Yeah. Do you like that thickness? What? Do you like that thickness? Yeah, I think that'll work out real good. That's hard to keep track of because I don't have. Mine only goes to three quarters. So smart. Does that matter? Or you... Well, you don't have them clamped. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was just... But you got a flat surface, so I would... But I would put your clamp on it. Okay. Yeah, you don't have your clamp on it. We never clamped it. These guys are doing a great job, so I'm going to go cut some of that slab wood. No, you did a really good job. Yeah, put them in the truck. Ooh, I gotta take a break. There you go. Um, what we could do, I got an empty spot right over here in this corner. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll have Garrett start cleaning this little spot up. We'll put it right over here, Garrett. Right in this corner. There's only those so we can chuck these oak logs, these oak beams down here. Yep. Kind of clean that up and we'll stack all theirs right there. How many boards did you get? Four thirty. Good. Good, good, good. That should do it. Ooh. You want to cut another one or? Oh yeah. All right. We're going to change the blade then. Sounds good. Hey guys.
the, the son and the son-in-law figured out how to run the mill pretty well. Um, what you guys' thoughts? What you think? Fun. Yeah, Easy, fun. <laughs> Easy. I it. It's a lot, 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 um, not as hard as I thought it would be, but it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's like going to the store and buying boards. <laughs> it so is. It's pretty awesome. You know, and you, you'll figure it out. You'll be able to read the grain and you'll be able to read the log and know which direction to come from. You know, at the beginning, yeah. you guys had some t problems. You know, we had the waning on those edges when we had those uh, stops all the way down, so it wasn't really holding, you know. But you're seeing some of the little nuances and uh, little yeah. little idiosyncrasies that happen with this thing. So That's the stuff that I need to learn is yep. the, you know, the actual intricate stuff. Yeah, just those little things, you know, and just getting comfortable with the controls. But I, I think it worked out pretty well. You got all the boards you needed for your sighting. And uh, you got a couple of inch and a quarter boards. So, guys, that will do it. Take care. We'll see you at the mill next time.